I'm cold, but I'm also really excited right now because I'm holding a new camera and I'm actually in a really cool place too. There's, there's a couple things going on, but today is exciting. This camera is brand new. It just released today for you, not for me, because I'm in the past, you're in the future. And before I actually introduce the camera and all of its features, I just want to show you one quick thing. So there's that. This in my hand right now is the Sony A6400. Sony Alpha's newest and honestly most impressive camera that I've gotten the opportunity to play with a little bit early. When I was introduced to this camera, the first thing I was showed, there's a flip up screen, I can see myself. That is something Sony hasn't done yet in any of their more advanced mirrorless cameras. Of course, the A5000 and A5100 have the flip-up screens, but those don't have audio jacks. They're not as versatile as the A6000 series. So in order to get the most out of this experience, getting to use this new camera, we came all the way out to Agua Dulce, and we are gonna head over to uh, an animal sanctuary to meet some animals and take beautiful photos and videos of the animals, because animals are way more photogenic and fun to look at than I am. It's gonna be fun. Jenna came with me. She's my camera today. I'm, I'm B-cam. She's B-cam. I'm on the B-cam. You wanna go meet some animals? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, supposedly we get to sit with the baboon. I'm ready. And I can film myself with them because I have a flip screen now. <laughs> Did you know I have a flip screen? Yeah. Have I told you that yet? Yep, I'm aware. Um, so I just ran back to the car to get this mic really quick, but I realized I've been using on camera audio. This is just the audio that the camera picks up by itself and it's been like kind of sick. I'm just gonna bring this in case it gets windy, but we'll see. Everything I've filmed up until now hasn't been with a mic though. Am I right, horsies? All right, welcome guys. So we have Marley and Macy out on the table for you guys. So this little lady right here, this is Macy. That is Marley. They're both capuchin monkeys. They're both hybrid capuchins. Uh, so Macy is a hybrid between a brown and a Brazilian capuchin. He's a common drop spot for them. Oh look, he's got him on her. Good job, Haley. Yeah, <clears throat> Did you explain what you do? I know. Uh, so we're just hanging with the monkeys right now, and then um, a little later we're going to be taking like a tour of all the other animals. Um, I'm just going to be capturing it all with this camera. These mm -hmm. monkeys are so cute. Uh, so the more you guys can act like a tree, the more they will like to jump. Sounds juicy. Oh, Can I help you? Shoes. Can I help you? He loves shoelaces, so he may try to unlace your shoes right now. If you don't want him to, let me know and I'll pull him back up. No, no. That's mine. It's so not for you. He's basically telling Sean, hey, don't do that. Don't like not it. for you. Uh, so, like I was saying, she's also the second loudest primate in the world next to the howler monkey. So, once she's done munching on some grapes, we'll see if she'll do her call. It is a very startling noise, so don't be alarmed. <laughs> That's her singing. That's actually a happy noise. Now you can see he's burying his nose in the dirt. He's actually smelling inside to see if there's any worms, any roots, anything like that. He has a special filter in his nose so that he can smell without <laughs> inhaling the dirt and getting it stuck in his lungs. That's, That's right. Yeah. 
he's totally happy being on his own. He does have a toy ball that he gets inappropriate with, so we can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and we all wear Fitbits in here. We get our steps in with this guy. He's not going super fast right now, but you can see he's a busybody. We're meeting the hybrid wolves now. There's two of them. Uh, a normal wolf really should be able to walk all day long without even stopping. This guy does half a mile and he's just done. He does not want to exercise a whole lot. So he makes a good ambassador animal because he loves people. How much does he weigh approximately? About 100 pounds, give or take. He's very, very solid. Very unique. Really funny looking. A lot of people what the heck is this? It looks like a bunch of animals kind of thrown into one animal. Like a deer, a bunny, a kangaroo, all different sorts of random mixtures. Um, these guys are not the brightest, but we don't let them run around the compound. We don't think they would know how to go back inside. And these guys are three miles to 30 miles an hour. <coughs> these guys are pretty cool. Uh, you can feel that her hair is a lot closer than most people would think it would be like. Um, but she is an extremely smart and intelligent animal. These pigs can be sometimes smarter, if not uh, as smart, as some breeds of dog. He's super goofy right now. He's feeling really, really happy. So quills are modified hairs. You can't pull them out without hurting the animal. On this one, this is one of their quills. This is the bottom of it. The Monzo here, he's basically like the bobcat of Africa. He is an African serval. He is also a very big serval. Servals are typically not the nicest. They can be a little hissy, a little spitty, um, but he's a really s a sweet boy. was so fun. That was amazing. Can't really tell, but yeah, it's so cold. It's like 40 degrees out and it's overcast with wind. What a cool day. Got to hang out with a whole bunch of cool animals. Yeah, and they're all rescued and the whole thing's very educational and nice. And, and like 99% of the animals we met, like, are not supposed to be pets, which is kind of why they end up here. So places like this, they're, they're the total unsung heroes. Like, look at this place. It's in the middle of nowhere, and they have, like, no money, but they're doing this because they love it. Animal tracks. I'm going to link them in case you want to go out. Monkey and mammal tour. Monkey and mammal tour. We were kind of naughty, and we got mm -hmm. Carl's Jr. on the way home. We're having the Beyond Burgers. Yo, I can see what the shot looks like. Hell yeah, dude. You guys want a fry? No? No, 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 Peachy, no. What about this fry? Peach. Do you want it? Peach. Peachy girl. What about this fry? What a great day. Well, hello there. I have been having so much fun with this camera. Uh, and right after going to shoot all the animals, I wanted to kind of broaden the range of what I was testing with this camera. Now, if you know me, you know that this is not a tech channel. And if you're new here, this is not a tech channel. But I do love my cameras, and I've been using the Sony a7S II uh, for almost three years. I recently bought an a7 III, and now I'm currently using the a6400 to make this video. I've gotten so used to filming myself without a flip-up screen that having one seemed like such a crazy luxury, and especially when you're getting shots with subjects like animals, where it's, they're so unpredictable and you don't know what things are gonna be or when the shot's gonna be good. It's like a great camera if you're a vlogger or if you film yourself or if you're any sort of one man band and you need to see the shot that you're setting up. So this is the A6400 and this is what I've shot this entire video on. Something else that made shooting with animals incredibly easy was number one, the 0 0.02 second autofocus that makes this camera the world's fastest autofocus, literally 0 0.02 seconds of autofocus. So when it comes to focusing, I doubt I'll be having a problem. And in addition, it has something called eye autofocus, where it picks up on eyes and tracks subjects based on the movement of the eyes, which makes autofocusing 
just much smarter. When I was behind the camera and I was filming the animals, I loved using the touch focus, where you can literally just touch the screen and rack focus onto subject from other subject. And it really makes me look like a talented focusing cameraman when really I'm just touching the screen. And the first half of this video I shot with this 10 to 18 APS-C lens, and I swapped that back and forth between 24 to 70 GM lens. The second half of the video, I shot pretty much all on this beast of a prime lens, which is Sony's 24 1.4. And really my goal was to just go out with this camera at night and see what it can do. And I am pretty happy with how the footage ended up looking. If you've watched this channel or you know me, you know that I love time-lapse. I love time-lapsing my dogs, sunset, sunrise, clouds, people, traffic. Now you have built into the native Sony menu the option to do interval shooting, which is basically time-lapsing. You don't have to launch any app on the camera. And if you don't feel like it, you don't need an intervalometer. The body's really small and it's really light, so I don't feel like my arm hurts or I need to hand you your camera. Yeah. It's... So this is the kit lens, and you like the zoom on it? <laughs> Woo! Uh... Anyway, this is our first test. This is our first thing we're recording with the new camera. Yeah. We're shooting like a kitchen video, JJ's kitchen video, and Jenna's filming for me, which normally I just put a tripod up, so this is nice that you like to do that. Well, usually your camera has like a big thing, and mm -hmm. it's you're right, this is the smallest rig I've ever had. That's why I can film you like this and not have a problem. I'm pretty strong too. Yeah. But like, I'll eventually slowly, slowly yeah. film you from down here. And then it ends up on the counter. Yeah, then by the end of the vlog, it's like down here. Sweet. You might ask yourself why I'm wearing adult clothing. And uh, we're going to a wedding. We're going to a wedding today. So we just spent the morning getting ready and um, we're leaving in just a couple minutes. But given that I can't put this camera down, I wanted to give you a little outfit of the day. Pink hair, koi fish tie, black suit from H&M, baby. Koi fish pocket square that I folded myself. Uh, belt, pants, shoes, Mandy socks. Sony A6400 in the right hand. I never, ever, ever, ever dress up nicely. So when I do, I might as well show it off. So, uh... Hello. Hi. Don't worry, it's not John Wick. It's me. Julian Wick. It's been kind of like raining on and off all day, so hopefully if it's an outdoor wedding it doesn't rain. It, is it an outdoor wedding? I don't know the answer to that. I don't know either. How do I look? Beautiful. So beautiful. Thank you, Beach. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jenna with the flip screen. You look cute. Spoiler alert, you look cute. I don't know. I didn't really have time to do my hair. I always leave it for last, so it is what it is. It's also raining, so. It's raining, to be fair. 
You might not have had time to do your hair because you did my hair. This is also true. You left me with about 40 minutes to get ready. Whoa. Which is fine, but you asked me to do your hair. Whoa. Like, right. I told you the time we have to leave today, yesterday. That gives you... I think you sat down, you plopped your little butt down in my chair, like right at prime time getting ready time. <laughs> like I could have done your hair at 11 this morning. Nah. Okay. Because we're vegan and we literally can't eat anywhere we go, uh, we're probably not going to eat anything at this wedding. We're probably going to get a burger on the way home, Are though. Are you down? Carl's yeah. Alright, Carl's Jr. Part 2 on the way home in our wedding outfits. Down. Mookbong in a suit. No one's ever done that. Mook suit. Mook suit. Suit bong. Suit bong. <laughs> that sounds... No, I like mook suit. Can you go to the vet? Oh, poor little guy. Look at you go. Pet <laughs> my butt. Mm hmm. You want your butt pet? What? I'm at the vet, but it don't ruin my mood today. No, it might be raining, but it ain't gonna ruin my mood today. You love getting gassed up at the vet. To the vet? You're at the vet. This is like the happiest he's been at the vet because he's not in pain. The reason we brought him in is because his face has just started to swell a little bit. A little brain fluid. You got brain fluid? Hi, right, shark man. Hey, Do we have to go to one doctor for them to tell us to call the other doctor? Yeah, you have so many doctors. Hmm. So, I don't know how much we talked about, yeah, we talked about it a fair bit, like on stream and stuff, but Marmles went to uh, get the rest of his teeth taken out like a month ago. And recently his, his face has started to show some swelling. So we just took him to his normal vet and they checked him out and they were like, you gotta call the dental vet. <laughs> so we gotta call the other vet now. <sighs> Energy. When you shoot a video that lasts for days and days and then your outfits are all different throughout the video. So anyway, I gotta say, I have been enjoying changing kind of my video style to be longer form. I hope you guys got something out of this video. I hope uh, my camera people out there got something out of it. This wasn't sponsored at all. I just got a really cool opportunity. So look into getting a new camera and you want the A6400, you can get it for full price. Sorry. <laughs> That's all I got. I believe you can also get this camera in a vlogger kit where it comes with this little grip mount to where you can mount lights and mics. It's actually kind of nice. It's kind of like the all-in-one thing. Cheers to cameras and everything that they can do to provide content. Sweet, sweet content. Anyway, I'm gonna go somewhere that is not my computer because I've spent way too much time here the last however long. So I'll catch you guys on Twitch and on the next video. Have a good one and uh, goodbye. I'm just gonna stand here. Okay.